Hi Cancer, welcome to your October 2021 general reading. I've pulled your cards already, your tarot cards, and I am beginning with the present position. So in the present position here, what I have for you is it looks like there's a lot on your mind right now. Uh, it looks like it has to do with relationships and the past and um, just being... Uh, reflective on everything that has happened in your life and throughout relationships that have brought you to where you are currently. What we have here is the Nine of Swords in the upright position, the Nine of Cups in the upright position, the Eight of Wands in the reverse position, the Ten of Pentacles in the reverse position, and the Magician in the reverse position. I do put these cards in a way uh, to show me that they're in the reverse position, but for you, I put them upright so you can follow along in the reading. Spirit, can you tell me more about Cancer's present position in the month of October? It feels as if um, there is somebody here that you are... I don't know, Cancer, if it's you not communicating with them or them not communicating with you, but there is a lack of appropriate communication here. I feel like there is not a level of closure that you need, and I feel like because of that, it's affecting your ability to um, kind of move forward. There's, there's a lot of sadness in your energy. There's a lot of... Uh, you know, the thing is, is that you know what you want, you know why you want it, but it feels like you want it in a particular area in your life and it's, it's you don't feel, um, you feel down. And when you feel down, Cancer, there's not a lot of motivation to uh, do what it is that you know that you're supposed to be doing. So that's kind of like your present energy in the, in the month of September. I feel here too that that the Eight of Wands is um, not wanting to communicate with others either. So that could be people that you would normally reach out to and be able to um, be able to share some of your uh, concerns with. And I feel like you're just very much kind of isolating uh, as you sort things out within yourself. So in the strength position for the month of October, we have the Wheel of Fortune in the upright position. We have the Three of Swords in the reverse position and we have the Four of Cups in the upright position. And again, I feel here um, more of this energy as you work through all of this in the month of October. So here we have this kind of difficulty in relationships that you're letting go. I don't wanna say you're letting go. You know what it is, Cancer? It is. Three of Swords in reverse here with the Wheel of Fortune and, and the Four of Cups in the upright position. Spirit, can you bring it through clearly again? Can you go ahead and show me that again? Okay, so what they're saying, it's like a trampoline. So basically you're using it as a way to kind of bounce off from and to um, take you to the next steps of where you need to be in your life. You do, um, you are, you know, there's an aspect of you that is sad about where relationships have gone in your life. And, and that is kind of different areas of your life, right? That could be love, that could be family, that could be children, that could be work relationships. But it does feel because of this heartbreak and the sadness here, it's, you know, I mean, it's more... It, it fits more in with um, your heart. So anything that your heart is connected to in regards to relationships, there's a disappointment there. Now, Spirit wants to also point out that, you know, we all get disappointed about different things and our heart is connected to different things. And so that, have, that could have to do with um, uh, situations that have inhibited your career or your business, or something like that too. It's not just people, but it is situations. But Spirit shows me here that you're using it as a jumping off point in your strength position to move forward in the Wheel of Fortune. You know, you're kind of down for the count, but you're not out, uh, Cancer. You're, you're, you're most certainly not out. In your challenge position, what I have for you is the Page of Pentacles, 
the nine of cups and the hanged man in the upright position so um in the month of october you know that you've got to reclaim your independence you know that you've got to do this alone you know that you've got to move forward in your life in a way that achieves mastery and you're able to find the joy within you um and I feel as if you know that you need a change of perspective. I know that you you know that you've got to ch you know think about things differently. And again, I'm drawn back to relationships. I'm drawn back to people because here we have the nine of cups. So in your challenge energy, what you're trying to do is regain balance both internally and externally. It feels here that you're going to shift your focus, but it's kind of like there is. Um, in the challenge position, you're going to shift all your energy into the external is what it feels like. So internal is the heart, external is the head. So you will be using your mind a lot and the um, and I, I feel like fatigue. So I don't feel like you won't be able to do it. I don't feel like it's not a challenge. You know, sitting in your challenge position only because not because you can't do it. It's sitting in your challenge position because you have to do it. And I feel like your focus has been for quite a long time now is to reestablish relationships or establish uh, strong relationships in your life. And you're getting to a point that you're like, you know what, I can't do that. I need to focus on me. And, um, and so, uh, but Spirit is making me feel here that there are relationships in your life. Spirit is making me feel that there are new relationships in your life uh, and they're sitting here in the challenge position. And what's happening is I feel I feel here, Spirit is making me feel here that the challenge is people want to befriend you or want relationships with you, but you're kind of withdrawn. You're, you're withdrawing away from that and that you're, um, you know, it's kind of like just when you decide you know what i'm gonna you know be me again i'm gonna be independent i'm gonna be fierce i'm gonna you know move forward in my own direction and i'm just gonna do this and um that's when like you have people knocking on your door saying what's up cancer you know let's get together and you're like for crying out loud seriously so that's sitting in your challenge position in your outcome, you know what's so interesting, Cancer? I never get reverse cards for you in the outcome. So let's really kind of take a look at this. So you all came out in the reverse. And I want to understand this for you so we can really uh um sorry, spirit is blending with my energy here. Spirit, can you bring forward the outcome for cancer? Why are these three cards sitting in the reverse position and what does it mean? Uh, can you please bring forward the meaning uh, for Cancer for the outcome in the month of October? As I'm as they're doing that, Cancer, we also have the Spirit of the Wheel here for you, which is the card that I use from the Spirit World. And here we have Higher Good, Guidance, Choice, and the number 14, which in numerology is the number 5. Here we have the Strength card in the reverse, the King of Pentacles in the reverse, and the Temperance in the reverse. Um... Temperance is in, oh, Spirit wants me had to have this in the upright position. Okay, thank you. So what's happening here in the outcome? Spirit, bring it forward clearly, please. There is, uh, you know, there is wise cancer. I mean, there is always wise cancer. Cancer, you may have come out of the womb 100 years old. I mean, womb, W-O-M-B. You are very strong. But in your reflective mode in the month of October, you're, um, you're very soft, right? Because when you go internal and when you have to withdraw, you know, obviously you're not, um, you're not putting out an exterior to anybody. So what, what Spirit is showing me is, is you withdrawing, uh, uh, contemplating, um, understanding, uh, yourself, understanding how you want to move forward. You have a lot of choices. Spirit makes me feel you have a lot of choices. Spirit makes me feel that um, some of these choices have to do with career, have to do with business, have to do with money, have to do with how you want to move forward because, you know, you're shifting your energy from the heart to the head, right? And what that means for cancer is that you're kind of 
putting the relationship side of stuff and on the back burner, you're laying low, you're internalizing, you're, you're restructuring within you, you're restructuring what you want for yourself and you're looking at your goals and your ideas. And so that's why this is in the reverse position. You don't need to ex externalize strength when you're going inward, when you're sorting things out. So you're in the lamb energy, right? You're in the softness. You're in your, you're being kind to, your, to yourself and you're looking at, um, uh, kind of, you know, you have this, you know, we've got stone of ancestors here and there's something about you cancer that resonates from your history. Um, it's not something that you have to, uh, put out there very strongly. It's not even something that you have to think about, but it is, a, it is a part of your history that kind of comes through you. So stone of ancestors, for those of you that are psychics, mediums, Reiki healers, therapists, um, nurses, practitioners, doctors, all of you people, <laughs> my friend has stopped saying, has said to me, stop saying all of you people, um, Listen, my skin is brown. I don't mean it in a very, uh, I don't mean it in a racist way. Um, but all of the people uh, that can resonate with being in the healing arts, empath, compassionate, uh, spiritual, it comes naturally to you to look at how your life is going to play out. And, and ultimately your life cancer is always about the higher good. Now, it's not necessarily about the higher good of what you can do for others, but it's really the higher good of what you can do for you because you know that when you're at your best, you're doing the right thing for everybody and your light shines bright. And this is where we have temperance right here. So you know the timing is soon. You know that you're going to be switching up your energy uh, full force soon. And, um, and so you're gathering your strength, you're ga gathering your energy, you're reflecting on what you want to give your time and energy to, what you uh, want to be loyal to, what you want to commit to, and what you want to take that wisdom and apply. I feel like there's applied knowledge going on, going on here. And I feel, spirit makes me feel as soon as you let go of the aspect of I need a relationship or I need these relationships to be better or to work out or, you know, I just don't want to do this on my own. But as soon as you get rid of that thinking, which automatically happens in the month of October, this thing about somebody knocking on your door again or people knocking on your door or new people, friends, um, people that want to get to know you, it happens in the month of October. And it's almost like you're not paying attention to it. You're not really, that's not what your need is anymore in the month of October. And so you're not even kind of recognizing it. So spirit is making me feel as you go into the latter months of 2021, without you even realizing it, new friendships are going to be formed because as you refocus, what starts to happen is your light starts starts to shine very, very bright and, and people are around you like moth to a flame. And so I do see that happening to you. I do see your light getting brighter. I do see people, you know, it's interesting as you withdraw, people can see your strength. As you go inward, people can see your strength because you're not, um, you're, you're not the kind of cancer, at least who I'm reading for, that needs to announce who they are. And, um, you know, your presence speaks for itself, Cancer. So October, to sum it up, Spirit, can you please sum up October for Cancer? October um, is going to be about taking a time out and resting emotionally, spiritually, and reforming what it is that you want for your life. There is an anniversary, Spirit is telling me, in the month of October that is quite a profound uh, reflection for you. And um, that is part of the reason for some October, for some Octobers, for some Cancers, why October is such a significant month for you. And whether you do this unconsciously or consciously, um, Spirit is making me feel that many of you do have a profound anniversary or a something that's gone on in your history that happened prior in October that you will now 
consciously or unconsciously it will be coming out in your energy and that's one of the reasons why you're you're taking this kind of time out from uh relationships and the need that has been there and just kind of moving inward cancer um i know that's not cartwheels down the street and bonfires and you know fireworks and all of that in your reading but you know um you know it is what it is you're having some internal reflection and uh you know it's a good reading it's just a quiet reading cancer i hope that helps and i'll speak to you soon